Hello everyone and welcome back to Firewatch. I am Exorf and it seems like it's my last day here in Two Forks Lookout together with Forest Burns. Um, I've just been like packing up my things and uh, talking to Delilah about all the shit that's been going on these last few days. Uh, and uh, now my uh, Wonky my junk. I forgot what it's called. The the compass <laughs> has started be beeping again, and we are going to figure out where exactly it's coming from. Seems to be roughly west from here. Uh, so I suppose we're just gonna head out. I think I'm actually wearing my backpack already, uh, and I'm just about to head out. Alright, I don't know if I actually checked out these books. Well, I don't think I can read that, so... <laughs> the Patriots, Donald Anderson, is there more? Oh, there actually aren't too many of these uh, Richard Sturgeon books. <laughs> Donald Anderson, isn't that a, like a... Like a Metal Gear Solid? character <laughs> okay well there is a lot of smoke around there it's probably a good thing I'm leaving <laughs> I don't think I should be be here I'm not very good at actually telling where the fire is <laughs> now which is probably uh, something that a fire watcher should be able to do Jesus. Shit is going badly for this forest. Uh, so, yeah, this is the direction we're heading in. Hmm. And this is roughly the same place as, uh, or the same direction as the last time we had this signal, but I mean, I guess there isn't. There's more stuff to the west from my... Uh, yeah, there's like nothing to the east, so... Guess it makes sense. I can't really see any... anything in the sky. <laughs> I've seen some amazing videos of... like people driving right through forest fires and it looks like literal hell it would suck to be trapped in a place like this but uh, I guess I'm actually getting picked up so I, I don't really have to worry feels like um yeah getting close I guess whoa 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 I think I'm getting close all right well I just got word that they are coming to get us my place you sound worried. No, it's... it's just... Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. Yeah, I know what that is. Uh, so... Let's check this out. Is it still... Yeah, it's still over there, so I'm not missing it. It's a bit tricky to have that stuff up while at the same time <laughs> interacting with stuff. Well, that hill hasn't gotten me killed yet. Alright, so now it's actually north from here, so we should be really close now. Yeah. Huh. 
Henry. Yeah. Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? There's a tracking collar tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. Oh my god, Henry. Yeah, and there's also my name and an arrow pointing up. <laughs> Ned. Each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave for Croc's sake. I've been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. Winters are harsh as hell and I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up, and Delilah, she's a, she's a record you don't gotta flip. I kind of get why Brian took to her. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out, and that's right when everything went shit house with you two. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about having kids, all right? Nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know, I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just... He just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. Hmm. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and... I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. Well, jeez. Don't know if that's the same... Uh, even if Ned is the guy that I've seen and that has done some of this shit... Is he the guy that was at the tracking station as well? That seems off. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us. Just him. Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. The because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. Y you need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. Huh. But why did they have this whole... This whole station set up? That... Feels like that's two different things. Like, did he... I mean, it's impossible that he would have built that fence around the area, so... It must be a completely different thing. I guess he's been dumping trash up here for a while. Hmm, no comment on that. There's a clothesline. Trail closed. Oh, I can't call in about that. Time to dig through some person's belongings. They left all this behind? Who's gonna survive? Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site. Hmm. Really? Why? He wrote down everything he did to us. And everything he did every day. He was scared shitless. 
So wait, what does this say? Research site info, how to break in. Exit, exit, north trans, loose entrance. Uh, okay, station south lake gate. Yeah, that's where we went in, so I guess he went in from the other side then. Oh, the station. Staff return, August to do. Return, borrowed equipment, erase H. Henry plus Delilah evidence, I guess. Leave no trace. So, oh, I guess it might have been just some completely different sort of station, and he was just using it to trick us. Oh. This certainly isn't what I... Observation of traits. Fuck. Guilty. Yeah, okay. Delilah. Weak, weak, weak. Ah. Henry is the keep to the path. Passive guilty fortright. No kids, abandoned wife, 11 years married, would not be missed if removed. Oh. Supervisor Sig, goddammit. Oh. Well. Jeez, I don't know what to make of this. Oh. Nothing, just some of Brian's stuff. To a rad bad mega dad. Brian was a nice looking kid. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. What? Oh, maybe he took them from from the team camp or something. Because it, surely he wasn't the person <laughs> try. The, surely he wasn't like trying to trick us into thinking there were teens around there because we actually saw the teens. Oh, winter needs 1989 propane. Pack of firewood, food, winter jacket, new blankets, fox, box of matches, books, battery power, socks, 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 new boots, stack tape, try elk skin, <laughs> summer weight gain goal, 35 pounds. You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. Yeah, he obviously knew what he was doing since uh, he was building that radio with, with his kid. This boombox looks familiar. Oh, really? I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. We're in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing fast. It's going to burn all of this up. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. You're not? I don't know. Hmm. He was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going. Well, I mean... We still haven't gotten an answer about what the whole Delilah radio conversation was about. Make me kind of think there's something we we don't know yet. Oh, that's cool. Steven's room. Nine lives lost. <laughs> Richard Sturgeon. I can't even read this. Um, radio base 
He's got a radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. No. He had quite the view. Okay. Oh, a bunch of radio logs. A stranger fly fixing at J Lake. Reminder: rainbows hitting cat flies. So, Mama agrees on morning hike. Rainy week. Water stuck gone. Smoking trout while hiker's gone. Uh, Brian's birthday, I guess. So, first ranger of the year. Haven't left base in two weeks. Three weeks. Third crazy. Big hike tomorrow. Uh, the cave. Is that. Was that uh, May when I was. when he spotted me? Uh, new lookout, yeah. Henry's two two forks, yeah. I saw two forks coming out of cave. D calling for hikers list. Delay her, she'll forget. No. D calling for hikers list. Wait, what? Yeah, I guess you must like be. Yeah, yeah, right. She, I think they actually said that that she'd check who had been coming. In and out of um, of the area, so that we would know who was uh, who we spotted when we spotted uh, Ned. Is this when we're actually gonna figure out what happened afterwards? Hike to BT point, uh, severed radio communication. D never called for. D never called for hike list. Re rigged Delano to pick up fuel frequency can hear the can he dan uh two fork uh, concurrently two fork hike by cave he seems less interested uh ju no uh, two fork jules julian julia yeah that must have been when uh, when we thought we got a call from julia two forks is a good guy I haven't seen mama gris in two months D drunk again. Uh, <laughs> get a room. Reminder scout migration due to fire. Uh, fucked up. Do not want to leave. Reminder hide supplies for migration. Uh, yeah, migration. I mean, I guess that means like hide supplies for him to migrate somewhere else. Uh, out of this area. D and 2 for suspect conspiracy. Funny, if not dire. Observe and be ready to leave. Oh, is this actually when he... when he hits Henry? Could be. Ideas. Start working on reports. Record all communication. Vandalize these tower. Pin on 2 for Try to make remote uh, recording device. Uni... Uni research site? Uh, move pit against each other. Uh, I guess he just really didn't want to have to reveal himself. Uh, stakes too high. No one will believe B was happy. Uh, Brian, I guess. Um, make uh, Delilah and Two Fork less believable. Two Fork guy crazy. Uh, like wife, not a good guy. Oh, Mama goes back. They heard me. Oh, I guess that when he coughed. Fully believe there's a program. Use this. Uh, reports final. Make sure they find them. Two forks almost caught me at sight. Reports worked. Uh, recorded call used for leverage. Yeah. Two forks found supplies. Keys gone. Can't uh, let two forks find B. Okay, so I guess he didn't. Oh, so I guess he hid them. Oh right, that's why he had an alarm on it. He didn't un realize that we would be able to. Uh, to find those supplies. And he had an alarm on them. 
and he had the key. Oh, okay, that actually makes sense. So he had the keys on his supplies that he was going to take to migrate. Uh, and uh, that's why we were able to find him in that weird position. And he doesn't understand how. Can't let uh, Tufork find Brian. Is that it? Oh man. <laughs> but that doesn't answer that goddamn call unless it had something to do with Delilah not calling about um, calling about the hiker list, which could be it. Uh, like, oh, I don't know. I haven't realized yet that she hasn't called about the hiker list, but. Huh. It sure feels like there's something. Something missing. That that one puzzle piece left. I don't know what to make of that. Alright, so I guess we'll head back to get evacuated at Delilah's place in the next episode. So until then, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time on Firewatch. Bye bye!